Welcome back. Today I'm doing a missed photography challenge that maybe you might like to do one day. This spot right here at Universal is very popular for tourists to take photos in front of. So when I saw all the mist and the people running through the mist, I thought, hey, this would be a cool photography challenge to try and get photos of people in this mist. It looks even cooler at night with the lights in the background. This was a fun photography challenge, so let's take a look at the photos. So to start out with this photo right here, I picked it because I like the, the girls kind of on the side here walking in and then kind of a line of people fading into the mist. What I don't like though is the background of this big grill and brew. It kind of ruins it for me here. If we kind of cropped it like this, it might work. It's a good photo to start with. Let's go to the next one. So this next one's a little bit better. I like how her hair is flowing here and I definitely think this would be better cropped like this so that it doesn't have this big bright screen up there which really takes your attention away but this is cool it's got the people fading in the background in the mist I like this photo and this next photo so a lot of people did this and I'm glad I got one of the photos here of it where they when they come to the mist they uh they like to raise their hands a lot <laughs> in a way so if we zoom in so I like it he's just sitting there you know just enjoying the mist it's fun but of course you know this thing still kills it for me so but this next set of photos here I do like this because this lady here is walking through and I didn't know which one to pick so I kind of pick a series of photos so here you kind of have these two guys walking through the mist this lady she's kind of coming through and even this is pretty good uh, cropped in like this might be better but then you have this next photo here I like this a little bit better because she's more singled out um, it's a simpler photo I like this one but this next one here I think is a little bit better I like it because it almost <laughs> this reminds me of um, Michael Jackson thriller like she's doing a zombie move here she's about to break out into the dance I don't know if you can tell on YouTube but if, if I zoom in so you can tell it kind of like when you once you zoom in like this the mist kind of turns into I don't know like it's not quite grain it's got like this weird effect and that's basically the sensor on the phone that I'm using. So I'm using an iPhone and I did notice that whenever that whenever the mist was kind of uh, uh, engulfing the iPhone a little bit, it'll it'll give this kind of texture. I have another photo that's better illustrates that example. So here an example where I was pretty much covered. I was basically inside the mist. And it just does something weird with the phone sensor where it doesn't know what to do with it and it kind of freaks it out, I guess. It's not really grain, it's just I don't know, like a watercolor type of look or something. So that's one thing that made this challenge really hard. I didn't really like that effect too much. Over here on this image, it's not that um, prominent. And then this is just another one. Kind of liked her, her hand, but you know what? Honestly, this one's probably the best one because it just reminds me of <laughs> Michael Jackson's Thriller. And this one's a pretty good one too. I like this one because I think it's three three people, but it looks like one like one guy who has figure is kind of distorted. His hand is like disproportioned from his body. I also like this because the background um, doesn't have that big LCD screen in it, so you can focus more on just the subject. But this next one I like a lot better. Um, in fact, this is one of the ones that is up for voting at the end of the video. Basically, again, the, the body is kind of distorted. You can't quite make out what it is. It looks like this person has wings, like in a way, like little fairy wings or something. And then their hand here almost looks like a claw. So I like that about this photo. It makes it kind of more alien-like, I guess. This next photo here, I pretty much picked this photo mainly because of this girl right here. And the fact that she was looking up. You can't, I mean, you can't really make out her face or anything, but I, I just like the fact that She's right here looking up and then you got this guy kind of faded in the background with the mist. So all in all, this one's a pretty cool photo. But this photo right here is even better. I like it because he's going into the mist. You can tell he's kind of looking my way and it's almost like he's waving you into the mist saying like, come follow me. So you got a little bit of the motion blur here. Looks pretty good cropped in like this too. And then this next photo here I liked because you got, it's pretty simple. You have the mist kind of blurring out everything in the background, which is what I like. It, the focus is really just on these three individuals here. They're separated just enough that you can make them all out. You can make their shadows out. But then this guy, he was just walking alone and this is another one i like the the pose of him walking here this is a pretty good walk I, I had other photos of him walking but this was the best one that his stride was here zooming in i mean even zooming in it looks fine and this one here this one's not as good as it is kind of more it's got that um that effect that i was 
telling you about earlier where the sensor kind of goes crazy we see more of the watercolor grainy look when people walk in they do, they put out their arms to fill the, the mist so i liked i like that aspect of it and this is another one with that guy pretty good sil silhouette i like how his hair i mean you can clearly see his hair his side profile here of his face and then when it goes further down his body, it kind of like fades out into the mist. So this one's a pretty good photo, I believe. And of course, this one got one of the kids running down. A lot of kids, they love to run through the mist. And I like this one the most of all the kids that I got running. And basically, you know, you got his shoes, they light up. I mean, you can clearly tell he's running and having fun. This is another one that I liked because the people were really faded in the background here. I Again, I still don't like this. Um, I mean, my... I, my eyes always go to this LCD screen, but if cropped in, this would be better. So if kind of like, so this is a lot better with them kind of faded out in the mist. I mean, granted, this photo would be a lot better if this whole like railing wasn't here and it was just them. But, you know, what can you do? That's kind of the challenge, too, is to try to make this work. And here's another example of somebody walking through and sticking out their arms and their hands. So I like that this would be better cropped in like this. But it's a good one. It's a good mist. You got a good feeling of, you know, you're in the misty environment. This is another photo that is at the end to, to vote on. And I, I really love this photo. This is probably the one I like the most. I like uh, the fact that this kid is in the mist, kind of getting covered at the lower half of his body. The top part is more in focus. And then he's just looking up and taking a photo of this big world here. And so this whole thing, I think, tells the story really well of the of the mist. So this one's my favorite, personally. This one's just a, another one of my favorites that I'm going to put at the end to vote on. So it's just a group of people. Another one taking selfies. A lot of people take selfies in here. I just like the fact that they're, you know, faded out in the mist. It's, it's just got a good, uh, a good um, story to it. This last one here, I like this one because it just looks fun. So you got, even though it does have this big bright LCD screen, um, I still feel like this whole thing is a good photo. In fact, if you crop it in, it, I feel like it work out better. But you got this guy who's barely visible going through the mist. You got the mom taking photos of the kids. Clearly the kids are smiling and happy. So this is just a general like, just it's a, it just looks like a feel good photo where people are having fun in the mist. Even closer, yep, you can just tell the kids are just super happy. So this one's a fun photo. I like this photo a lot. Okay, this was a fun photography challenge to do. Don't forget to please click the like button. And here are my four favorite photos from this round. Let me know which photo you like most. Do you like photo number one, where it looks like the person has wings? Or photo number two, with this little guy looking up and taking a photo of a big world? Or photo number three, with more of a group of people fading in the mist while taking a selfie. Or photo number four, where this is clearly a fun family photo being absorbed by mist. Vote by leaving a comment below. Thanks for watching.